Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages. In the last episode, we got the long switch hook and owned the mini boss, because it was terribly easy. I also got a little bit ahead of myself. We don't want to drain the water just yet, so let's fill it back up. That's why I'm meeting you here, I figure I'd save you the trip. Because, if you get lost here, you're going to go back and forth a lot. And I, for one, know that firsthand, and crap, I wish I had more Pegasus seeds. But I don't, so... Uh, we gotta go back. Uh. And, well, it's really easy to get back. Just take out your switch hook. Flop cross, and let's keep going. Yeah, it's not difficult at all. So it's not, nothing to worry about, it's just a pain in the ass. Because, in this dungeon, backtracking is like freaking cancer. And I'm sorry for making cancer references again, but like... It's just horrible, and that's the best word I can use to describe how bad it is. Alright, where is it? Where is it? I know, there's one specific room I'm looking for. And it should be over here. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I found it, I know where it is. First, bam. Yeah, this thing is amazing for killing stuff underwater, and it's right here. I believe I showed this in the very first episode when we started this dungeon. But we couldn't go anywhere, because there was a pot that was just too far away. Like everything else in this goddamn dungeon, because we pretty much figured out where to go via trial and error. So, it looks like we know where to go now, so let's keep going. But while we do this, I'll think I'll talk about my life. So earlier today, I went to Walmart, because it was after the Nintendo briefing, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go... I need some milk, I'm gonna go buy some milk, because, um... There's a lot of people at Michael's house, and they go through milk pretty quickly, because... There's like seven bowls of cereal in the morning. Uh, oops, uh, let me get all my stuff. And coffee and whatnot. So, oh, come on! Yeah, yeah so, I, bu I buy that and a couple other things, like some juice, because it's like four for five dollars, and like sweet. Because I pretty much nurse those things like a can of pop. They're delicious. Not like like one a day, pretty much. But, um, yeah, and also, when as I was leaving the store, there's this guy in a truck. He's, he's yelling at me, he stops, so I start going. And as I start going, he starts driving, and I'm kind of wondering what the hell, so I let go of the cart and he smashes into it and, and just own, wrecks the milk and the juice and he's just staring at me and I'm waiting for him to get out of the car because I'm ready to kill him. Just ready to throw down, but he, re he he pretty much drives away. So I'm like, okay, time to go and tell the manager at Walmart that they gotta replace my goods because someone hit me in their parking lot. That's what I did. The person in customer service wasn't too willing, but the manager has to do it because it's their parking lot, so it's their responsibility. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're going to go dump the water. That's right. Sorry, got a little bit too centered on what happened, because it really freaked me out, because, like, he was stopped. If you're going to go for it, don't yield, then go for it. Just freaking go for it. Like, if he wouldn't have stopped at all and just would have went, he would have been fine. But no, he had to wreck my milk, like, my the cart and the milk and everything. I'm pretty sure he dented his freaking hood, too. But I'm glad I let go of the cart, probably would have broke my wrist. Oh well. Shit happens, and if he would have got out of the car, even more shit would have happened because I would have dropped his ass. Wouldn't even give him time to talk. Bam! And I'm not talking like I would win the fight, I would just. Sp I'd open on the fight, so I'd have the advantage. Yeah. Because road rage is not illegal. It's very annoying, but not illegal. And, now that we dump the water, there's one thing we want to do. You hear water gushing out. Oh boy. Yeah, there's actually a small problem with this dungeon. It's about the water levels. If you raise them and drop them at not the right order, you'll encounter some pretty bad problems, and I'm pretty sure that's what's been, like, slaving me throughout this whole goddamn time. So now we need to go where we raise the water level. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's this way. Oh yeah, 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 we're going the right way. But I just wish I had um, more Pegasus seeds because I love them. I'll do what I can with them. I only got eight left. I'll probably go get a whole bunch more like when we're done the dungeon because it takes literally a second to go get them. So why the hell not? Oh, I should have used that right here. No speedrunning tactics. Ta ugh, tactics for me. Blech. Apparently, I can miss this thing mighty fine too. So let's go for a swim. La 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 la. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I'm so psyched for the 3DS. So many good games coming out for it. It's just awesome what they're doing with it. 
Oh yeah, Rock's Feather. Remaking of Ocarina of Time, Kingdom Hearts. Um, Star Fox, New Animal Crossing. I'm loving it. And I've seen some screenshots of this stuff. God, it's really good too. I'm really impressed with it, so let's just hop over. You could go all the way around, but I like doing it that way. Because it's so much easier. So I believe it's up. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going the right way. I sometimes second guess myself, but... Oh wait, wait, we don't want to raise the water just yet. Wait. No, 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 we do, we do, we do. Alright, raise the water one level. Then you get to hear the whoosh. You hear water coming in. Yes, indeed. Then, ugh, switch over. I was trying to make a sound effect, but I apparently fail at that today, so I guess not. No pro skittles for me. So we unlock this little block. Kill the crab, because I don't want crabs. I don't like Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. Loves them, pretty much. And hit the switch. And all the water we needed to fill up has just filled up. So, the bottom two floors should be flooded. They better be, because, oh god, if, if they don't, I'm going to open up a can of Freak on the on the world. You'll get to see the first ever get through Rage. I'm hoping not to see that till uh, Ocarina. Oh, no, no, it works. See, you can tell the water's right there. So, everything's crystal clear and perfect now. We, I know how to finish the dungeon now, because the rest is pretty much done for me. So, what you want to do is switch hook. Or, switch hook and not miss. Switch hook. And we get ourselves a fancy smanchy dance key. Yay! And we need one more key to go where we need to go. So hooray. And no insanity for me, because I know what I gotta do now. Oh, sure, knock me in the staircase, why don't you? Ugh. Jerks. So we know what to do. You know, jump down and keep swimming. Just ignore them, because I don't really care about them. Ow. I got a potion, I don't care if I get take damage or not. Let me swim this way. Uh, oh yeah, I don't think we can duck underwater. I'm pretty sure you can't go down a layer of water, I don't know. I'm gonna assume you can, so whatever. So we go this way. And just keep swimming. Avoid the crabs, you know. That's the one kind of thing we do not want. So switch hook, jump down, keep swimming. Swim this way. Ow, leave me alone. And I believe we want to go up. Yeah, there we go, up. And then we want to go in here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ugh. Just wanted to fire two fireballs. Oh wait, there's two torches. But yeah, what we do is switch hook over here, and we get the last key we need. Success. Yeah. Now we're pretty much done. Well, we're not... There is a little bit left we gotta do, but it's not that bad. We've got the harder stuff of the dungeon done, so we can put much all smooth sailing from now. But, yes, getting here, if you get lost once, it can pretty much ruin you. That's what it did to me, and I was like, oh god, gets her raging all over the place. It was like the equivalent of everyone at the, at 3D, seeing the 3DS creaming their pants, but me, like, raging my pants. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure um, the world's going to be out of cream for a while because of what just happened. And what was unleashed upon the world. And yeah. But, um... I have a little bit of thought on Ubisoft. They kind of... Well, they didn't kind of. They failed hard. I mean, like, Sean White snowboarding? What the hell is that? He's a professional snowboarder. Why would you make him do skateboarding? And I'm pretty sure I just said Sean White snowboarding at the very beginning. If I so, I'm sorry. But yeah. It's freaking retarded. He's a he's a gold medal snowboarder. Why make a skateboarding game off of him? Just make another snowboarding one. I think I bought like the one he had for 360 for like 10 bucks or something, and it was pretty fun because my friend likes snowboarding, so he's like, "Oh, cool, let's we should check that game out," and we did. And it's pretty fun. So yeah, no complaints there. But like, why skateboarding? Like seriously, that's just like harmonics with that dance move for the kinetic. Go back to making Rock Band 3, I mean, seriously. Well, then again, like, it looks fun. It's gonna be pretty much a family console, which is a given. Although that dancing does look hilarious, and what do we get here? Oh boy, a Gasha Seed. How fun. 
and how very unimpressive. So we got one more door to open, and that's pretty much it. Then we go claim our delicious prize, which shall be the boss key. Oh yeah! We are pretty much done in this dungeon. Now if I can only remember where the hell the boss room is. Yes, that's a challenge in itself. Finding the boss room. Actually, yeah, it's on the second floor, so it won't be that bad. Yeah, see, I pretty much just got lost. Thank God. I love the time limit. I'm glad I'm not a partner, because I'm getting lost towards the very end of the time limit, so it's kind of helping me out. Symbiotic relationship, YouTube. High fives all around. Well, not really. There's a lot of changes I don't like, so you don't get a high five. But anyways, we're out of time, so next time on Let's Play Oracle of Ages, we will finish the dungeon, so I will see you then.